Hello and welcome to Little Sue. Firstly, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who left comments on the last video. Thank you so, so much for all the lovely comments. The procedure went fine. Uh, they put me under sedation, so I actually have no memory. Uh, I don't remember anything from 9 o'clock that morning till about 4 o'clock. Thursday evening <laughs> just because of the sedation but my husband says that I slept a lot and I was okay so that's a bonus they did find out what was wrong with me and why I am constantly getting infections and I'm in hospital a lot so what I now need to do is what it is, something I can't pronounce, so I'm not even going to bother attempting to try and pronounce that. But they said how it's maintained and controlled is through diet. So all I need to do is stay on a high fibre diet with plenty of fluids. So that's, that's about it. And if I ever get any pain or... I'm sore and I think that it might be an infection. I just go to the doctors. I tell them what the hospital told me that it was and they'll prescribe me the antibiotics then and there. I don't need to go up to the hospital for anything now. Uh, the doctors can prescribe everything for me now. So that is the good news. <laughs> Bad news is, is they did find something. So I don't know how I feel about that. But I'm okay with it. I can live with it. Uh, the only thing I'm to try and not eat as much of is seeds and nuts and little pips. So that's about, that's my update so far. Uh, this beautiful card actually came this morning. And it is from the lovely Christine, who is Christine Cards and Things. So thank you so, so much for this beautiful card, Christine. Um, means a lot that you're thinking of me. So thank you so much. Right. And I'm going to leave the envelope there because my address is actually showing. But this massive parcel here actually came last week. Uh, I didn't get a chance to film it last week because of everything that was going on but this is my prize winning from the lovely Colette and Colette is Country Creations here on YouTube. Now Colette was doing a giveaway and well it was sort of a, a hidden surprise giveaway basically. And what you were to do was in her Back to Basics Beginner Sewing video, she had a little tin and you were to guess the number, how many items were in the tin, and the closest person won. Now, I guessed 20. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is I actually know those little tins quite well because my gran used to have one and it holds an absolute ton of stuff. It can hold little pins, little sewing needles. It can hold the safety pins. It can hold the little bobbins that you get. And you can actually hold a lot more than 20 in it if you want. But I thought I'd be reasonable and say 20. And I actually won. I got the right answer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off camera, pull everything out, and I will come right back. Okay, so that is everything there. Oh, I'll just slide you over a wee bit. So that is everything out. Colette had put quite a lot of the stuff into this bag to protect it, um, just in case any water damage. But she has... All these little packages are all sewn. And uh, I absolutely love this idea. And... I'm going to take these off camera and I'm actually going to unpick one side of them just because I actually want to keep these as sewn edged bags 
and use them in a journal. So I'm going to do that. Claire also put in this beautiful card. Um, she put some, she's actually stitched some paper in it. And this is a gorgeous card that I will be able to use for something. Don't know what I'll be using it for. I might actually keep it and put it in my journal myself. So thank you so much for that clip. She had also put this beautiful fabric in. This is absolutely gorgeous fabric. Now she used this to tie to tie something, but I can't remember what she used it to tie for. Because I did open this up on Friday and my memory is still a bit foggy from Friday. It's weird. I know my husband phoned me, but I haven't got a clue what he phoned me for. And I keep forgetting to actually ask him why did he phone me on Friday. But She has also put in this gorgeous bag of doilies. And she's actually stitched the bag as well. So this is actually pretty cool. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut this bag open. Oh wow. Oh, managed to get it caught now. Um, she's also put in this. No, I think this is meant to be a belt, but you can take this all apart. So that's what I plan on doing is, not if it'll focus, I'm going to take all these pearls off of here. But you're also getting this gorgeous brown sort of twine type thing I'm going to take that off of there as well because there's quite a lot on here and use it either on the side of pocket letters or in journals to make tassels with so there's lots of different ideas that you could do with this you don't have to use it as a belt so I plan on doing that and this is the gorgeous crochet trim that she's so there is this one I'm actually just going to get my diary at the minute to show you these on so there's this one it's beautiful and you can cut all these elements up and use them for different things she's gifted me quite a lot of that she's gifted me this gorgeous little I don't know if she's tea stained this one herself or if it came like this but it's a sort of tea stained colour it's beautiful thank you so so much for all of these Colette she's gifted me some little ones oh. so there's that one there That's the way around it goes. So it's got like this little flower detail on it. And that one there. You can use these for anything. You can use them on cards. You could use them in journals. You could ink them up. Thank you so, so much. She's actually gifted me quite a lot of these. These are absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, Claudette, for these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up these packets and I will be right back. Okay, so that took a wee bit longer than I actually thought it would. But I've unpicked all... Oh, sorry about that. All of the little pockets... Now this was the first one I unpicked and inside here Colette has put in a variety of different threads. Oh, sorry about the shaking. 
Now, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to keep this and I'm probably going to use it in a journal or something. I will decide what way round I like it. And Colette has put in quite a few different colours here. So we've got this beautiful peachy colour. We've got this gorgeous yellow. We've got green, a nice lovely forest green. It's not, it's a really nice forest green. Uh, sky blue. And this gorgeous pink. So thank you so, so much for them, Colette. Uh, this was the next one I opened and inside this one is all of Colette's little makes. Now on Colette's live she made quite a few little things for me. Um, I'm trying to get, that's it. So, and I'm going to keep this bag as well. And I really like that side so I'm going to put that in a journal. So this is a tiny little pin cushion that she's made and she used little tiny pillows to make this one. She's also put in different types of fibres. We've got some organza, lace, we've got some gorgeous wool trim here. We've got eyelash trim, oh, eyelash trim there. And then she's put this little hook on the edge here for me so that I can hang it up if I want. So thank you so, so much for that, Claire. That's absolutely beautiful. She made me this gorgeous little, and it's a scissor holder. And she's put on this beautiful dangle charm and it matches the purple in this fabric beautifully. This is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm going to see if I can find a pair of scissors quickly. Okay, so that is the little scissor holder. Right there. And I've put my little pink scissors in it that I absolutely love these scissors. And then Colette has also made me this beautiful little bag. And she did say she was putting a couple of things in it as well. And inside here, hopefully I don't lose too many. One almost rolled away there. <laughs> she has gifted me some beautiful buttons. We've got all these buttons and some pearls that I can thread onto some fabric. I've got this beautiful flat back heart here I've got a couple of wee flat back pieces lots of different buttons and some pearls and there's a little tiny wooden bobbin in there as well so thank you so so much for them Colette so I'm just going to put them back in just now okay so that's all the buttons back in there now and in the last little bag here is a little mixed variety of stuff. So this is actually the little tin that we had to guess. And <laughs> it doesn't close, Colette. That wasn't the plan. It was supposed to close. <laughs> Colette's made this gorgeous little belly band for it. Just put this gorgeous pink little bow. Oh, see if we can get it to focus. There we go. So inside the tin, as you can see, we've got two little bobbins. Now these should be universal bobbins because Colette doesn't know what machine I have and all machines take different bobbins, but all machines also take the universal ones. So thank you so, so much for them. She's gifted me this tiny little pin cushion. And she's popped in three little pins there. Oh, it's not focusing. 
There we go. Little tomato pin cushion. It's gorgeous. And then inside the pin, inside the tin, she's put in a couple of little goodies for me. So there's some beautiful buttons there. We've got some gorgeous paper clips. I've never seen this colour before. So it's like a cream colour, a yellowy colour. And then down the bottom there, there is a handmade... Is it made with love by and you can put your name on that so thank you so so much for this little tin i will put them back in later she has also gifted me a couple of other things so a flexi tape so i'm actually going to put this in my handbag because every time i go out i need to measure something but I don't have a ruler to measure it with. So thank you so, so much for this Colette. This is actually going to come in really, really handy now. Thank you. Love that. She has put in another gorgeous doily. This is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for this one, Colette. We've got some beautiful buttons. Now... Colette likes to buy wedding dresses. Uh, I'm going to take a guess that this is actually off of one of the wedding dresses that she's recently bought. And it's the beautiful little buttons that you get on the back of them. So thank you so much for them. And a little... So this is a dressmaker's pencil in white. His white goes on all fabrics. So thank you so, so much for them, Colette. So in this last parcel here, this is a really big one. Now, I haven't tried to empty this one because, as you can see, it's had, it's burst through a wee bit. But she's put these gorgeous stamps on it, so I'm wanting to try and save them. So I'm just going to take it off camera and try and get it out of here. Okay, so Colette has actually made me this gorgeous little bag. Uh, now, this looks like a peg bag design. And it does have a huge massive handle that you can wear it. And inside of here, she has put in quite a lot of gorgeous fabrics. If I just... So it's a beautiful bag and then all these gorgeous fabrics so we've got this one it's got butterflies snails leaves little tiny hedgehogs oh this one's beautiful it's got a lot of roses on that oh you'll be seeing this one pretty soon i know what i'm going to be using this one for and if Colette knows what I'm thinking, she knows what I'll be using it for as well. Beautiful pink with birds and she's got butterflies on it here as well. Oh, I like this one. It's like a tree bark effect. That's lovely. Thank you so much for these, Colette. Oh, look at this one. This is gorgeous. Beautiful flowers. There's another one of that gorgeous pink and red roses. Oh, that is beautiful. So this one's got this gorgeous rose and beautiful pink flowers on it. Oh, no, I don't know what one to pick. Oh, that's going to be a hard decision on what one to pick for my specific project. She's gifted me... Oh, this is like a satin. So it's very shiny. So it'll focus. There you go. So this is like a satin fabric. It's beautiful navy. Oh, look at that butterflies. 
they are gorgeous I absolutely love that one and then she's giving me a, it's a oh it's a denim shirt um so this is one of the things I actually quite like doing is cutting up actual clothing items just to get like this sort of piece off this is gorgeous I love that thank you so so much for that clip because you can use old clothing to make any type of fabric and Nicolette's probably going to have to tell me what this is but to me this is like a fleece so I don't know if this is wadding it might be wadding actually thank you so so much for this clip these beautiful fabrics and all the amazing goodies that I won from Colette's challenge it's absolutely gorgeous thank you so so much for these Colette it's absolutely amazing so I will link Colette's channel down in the description box please please go over and subscribe to Colette if you're not already subscribed to her uh, <laughs> she makes absolutely beautiful projects um, I still can't believe I actually won hers our sewing project for back to beginners so thank you so so much for watching everybody thank you to everybody who left comments on my last video and i will see you very soon because i am taking part in the lovely lisa's halloween in september so i will be back actually i'll probably be back in a few days for something else so watch out for that and I will see you all soon. Bye for now.